Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will define a random variable for a quantity of interest by assigning a numerical value to each event in a sample space. Then, we will graph the corresponding probability distribution using the same graphical display as for data distribution. First of all, we shall define a random variable. It is a variable whose value is determined by the outcome of a random experiment. The letter capital X is used to represent the name of random variable and the letter small x is used to represent the value of random variable. The probability that the random variable capital X will be equal to small x is given by probability of capital X is equal to small x or probability of small x. Now let us discuss some examples. Here we take the first example. Suppose we toss a coin two times then sample space will be given by the set containing H, 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 T, T, H, T, T, where H denotes the occurrence of head and T denotes the occurrence of tail So here, H, H denotes the occurrence of two heads. H, T denotes the occurrence of a head. Then, the occurrence of a tail. T, H denotes the occurrence of a tail followed by occurrence of a head. T, T denotes the occurrence of two tails. Let Capital X represents the number of tails that result from this experiment then Values for x will be 0, 1 and 2. That is, we assign numerical value to each sample point and for h, h, we assign 0, for h, t, we assign 1, for t, h, we assign 1 and for t, t, we assign 2. Here, capital X is the random variable because its value is determined by the outcome of an experiment. Now, let us draw probability distribution table for the random variable capital X. Now, this is the probability distribution table. Here we see that probability of capital X is equal to 0 is equal to 1 by 4 as we have one outcome favorable to the event of no tail occurring and total number of outcomes in this event is 4. So we have the probability 1 upon 4. Similarly, we have the probability of capital X is equal to 1 as 2 upon 4 
and the probability of capital X is equal to 2 as 1 upon 4. Now let us draw its graph. This is the required probability distribution graph where we have taken small x values along horizontal axis and probability values along vertical axis. Also, when small x is equal to 0, we see that the probability is equal to 0 0.25. When small x is equal to 1, the probability is given by 0 0.5 and when small x is equal to 2, the probability is again equal to 0 0.25. Let us consider another example which says, Two balls are drawn at random in succession without replacement from a bag containing three red balls and five blue balls. Then the possible outcomes can be the set containing RR, RB, BR and BB. Here R R denotes that the two balls drawn are red in color and they are drawn one after another. R B denotes that the first ball drawn is red in color followed by a blue ball. B R denotes that the first ball drawn is blue in color followed by a red ball and BB denotes the two balls drawn are blue in color and they are drawn one after another. Now, let capital X denotes the number of red balls in the outcome Let us draw a table for all possible outcomes and the numerical values assigned to them. So here we have assigned 2 for RR, 1 for RB, 1 for BR and 0 for RR. Now we shall find the probability of getting 2 red balls when we draw out the balls one at a time. So here probability of first ball being red will be equal to number of favorable outcomes that is here we have three red balls so number of favorable outcomes will be three upon total number of outcomes that is equal to 8. So we have the probability of first ball being red as 3 upon 8. Now probability of second ball being red will be equal to 2 by 7 because there are 2 red balls left in the bag out of a total of 7 balls left. So probability of two red balls when we draw out the balls one at a time will be equal to 3 by 8 into 2 by 7 and this is equal to 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8 so we get 3 upon 28 which is approximately equal to 0 0.11 so here we get the probability when capital X is equal to small x that is 2 will be equal to 0 0.11. Now we shall find the probability of drawing a red ball. For this case we will add up the probabilities that is we will add up the probability of first ball being red followed by a blue ball and the probability of first ball being blue followed by a red ball. So we have probability 
of first ball being red followed by a blue ball is given by now probability of first ball being red will be 3 by 8 into probability of second ball of blue color will be equal to 5 upon 7 because there are five blue balls still in the bag and seven balls all together after one red ball is being drawn so probability of first ball being red followed by a blue ball will be equal to 3 upon 8 into 5 upon 7 that is equal to 15 upon 56 and this is approximately equal to 0.27 similarly probability of first ball being blue followed by a red ball will be given by now probability of first ball being blue is 5 upon 8 into probability of second ball being red after a blue ball is drawn will be equal to 3 upon 7 so we have probability of first ball being blue followed by a red ball is equal to 5 upon 8 into 3 upon 7 that is equal to 15 upon 56 and this is approximately equal to 0.27 so probability of one red ball being drawn will be equal to probability of rb that is first ball drawn is red followed by a blue ball plus probability of br that is probability of first ball being drawn is of blue color followed by a red ball and this is approximately equal to 0.27 plus 0.27 which is approximately equal to 0.54 therefore the probability when capital x is equal to 1 is equal to 0.54 similarly probability of getting two blue balls when we draw out the balls one at a time and this is equal to 5 upon 8 into 4 upon 7 and this is equal to 5 upon 14 which is approximately equal to 0.38 so probability of capital x is equal to 0 is equal to 0.38 here we should note that the probability when capital x is equal to 2 plus probability of capital x is equal to 1 plus probability of capital x is equal to 0 is equal to 1 that is probability of rr plus probability of rb plus probability of br plus probability of bb is all equal to 1 now let us see the graph for this probability distribution now this is the probability distribution graph in which we have taken the values for small x along horizontal axis and probability values along vertical axis here probability of capital x is equal to 0 is shown as 0.38 the probability of capital x is equal to 1 is shown as 0.54 and the probability of capital x is equal to 2 is shown as 0.11 thus in this session we have defined a random variable for a quantity of interest by assigning a numerical value to each event in a sample space then we have drawn the graph for the corresponding probability distribution using the same graphical display as for data distribution this completes our session hope you enjoyed this session